Today we're going to look at presets to start our animation off. Before we do that, I want you to manage and look at your time first of all. So I'm going to look at the animation that I have right now. And from the animation, it looks like my timing is too slow. So I want you to notice down at the bottom, you can zoom in in your time. And what once looked like close is really far. So I am going to zoom in all of my timing. And then I'm going to bring them in a little closer. So let's see if the timing is good. There we go. Now, there's one layer that I definitely do not need, and that is my grid. I'm going to go ahead and just delete it. So to jumpstart your animation, let's look at some presets. We're going to go over to Effects and Presets to see what we can do. Let's look for Rotate Over Time. I'm going to add that Rotate Over Time to one of my Photoshop layers, which is now an After Effects layer. And here is a Rotate Over Time that I have applied to the background. As you can see, it's rotating. Very simple. Now let's add a wiggle to the globe. I'm going to come over to my effects again. And this time we're going to click on animation presets. One way you can always write the word up in there, but we're going to go to the wiggle. So let's look for behaviors. And we'll do a wiggle gelatin. I'm just going to drag it into the layer play it. Now I'm going to stop and of course I'm going to hit save. You need to hit save about every two minutes. It is known that After Effects can crash quite often so you need to save it. Now notice the wiggle kind of gets a little crazy so let's talk a little bit about keyframes. We're going to come up to our effects control panel right here and we can see that there's one and there is a 20 uh, set for the wiggle. So I'm going to say at two seconds. It gets a little crazy. So at two seconds, I'm going to come to my wiggle and I'm going to hit my stopwatches, both of them. And then I'm going to hit U. And now I can see the two keyframes. So I'm going to turn off that wiggle down to zero, zero. And I'm going to come back. And now we're going to go up to one and 20 again. Notice that we have some more keyframes. We're going to go back and let's see how it plays. It's going to stop and now it's going to go back to that wiggle. And there you have it. I can always hit U again to hide and U hits reveals any keyframes that you might have on your object. This is probably the most important shortcut in After Effects. If we don't like any of our, we can always hit OK. Don't worry about that. And then the last thing, I'm going to do a shape layer. It's going to add a shape layer. And there are some behaviors here that are just for shape, background. I'm going to add a kaleidoscope to my shape layer. And I'm going to move that. That one's too crazy. Box swarms. I like box swarms. This is just the love box swarms. And I'm going to move the box swarm down. And here I have box swarms with my rotating along with my wiggle. See what kind of preset animation you can add to yours today. Here's your last little bit. I've gone ahead and added in my effects a simulate pixie poly 
just to kind of show you how you could start or end your great motion graphics.